What's the best laptop for streaming on Twitch? I don't know. My name is Cody, and I'm going to be going over the best three laptops for streaming on Twitch. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to smack that like button. So let's start with laptop number one. By the way, if you want to follow along, I'm going to leave links in the description down below of all the laptops that I'm talking about. So the best laptop, in my opinion, for both gaming and streaming to Twitch is going to be the Dell G515. So the reason why I believe this to be the best laptop for streaming and gaming is for all of these amazing specs. So this laptop comes with the ninth generation generation Intel Core i7, which usually runs at 2.6 gigahertz. However, it can go all the way up to 4.5 gigahertz using new Turbo Boost technology. Boring. For people that aren't really that tech savvy, I'm going to dumb it down for you. Basically, with the CPU that this gaming laptop has combined with the graphics card with the NVIDIA GTX 1650, you're not going to have any problem playing Fortnite, Call of Duty, or any of those games at 60 FPS on the high-end graphics settings. Another really cool thing about this laptop is that it actually has two different types of storage. It has 256 gigabytes on a solid state drive with the combination of an extra terabyte of a hard disk drive. Okay. This means that you could store your operating system and all of your software that you commonly use on the solid state drive while you have an extra terabyte of storage for all your games, all of your recordings for Twitch and YouTube, and everything else you can think of. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. So basically, overall, I believe the Dell G515 to be the best overall gaming laptop for live streaming on Twitch because of all the specs we mentioned. Now, I understand that not everybody has the cash to throw around for this high-end laptop, so that's why I have the two runner-ups as well. Also, I know a lot of people are going to say, why would you pay all of this money to buy a laptop when you can take the same money and buy a desktop computer for cheaper? I understand that, and that's why if you would like a desktop, be my guest. More power to you. But if you're specifically looking for a laptop, you're looking for the functionality of it being a portable setup, you can move it around, especially if you want to combine that with the use for business, for school, for work, for anything other than streaming, that way you can bring it around portably so you can use it for more than just streaming. I actually started off my streaming career on a laptop because I produce music professionally for video games and I also wanted to stream, so I needed the portability of my laptop to be able to make music on the road while also being able to stream when I am at home. So that's the reason why I ultimately went with a gaming laptop, to be able to support both my music production on the road as well as streaming at home. So the second best runner-up is actually going to be the HP P Pavilion 15. This laptop is a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the first laptop, and I'll explain why. As you can see, the CPU got a downgrade from a Core i7 to an i5. The RAM got a downgrade from 16 gigs to 12 gigs. The storage has 512 gigabyte solid state drive. The storage changed by not having that extra terabyte of storage on a hard disk drive, but instead we doubled our storage on the solid state drive. And the battery life actually lasts a little bit longer than the first laptop, though odds are if you're streaming, your laptop's going to be plugged in anyways. But the biggest changes is going to be the downgrade in CPU, the downgrade in RAM, and the different type of storage. So if you're okay with those changes, then by all means, go ahead and go with this one. But if you have the extra funds, it's probably more beneficial to pay more up front to get a better quality product. So that way you don't have to worry about upgrading as soon. But overall, if you're looking for a gaming laptop for streaming with a good graphics card and good GPU, but you're not really concerned about the computer, the CPU performance, performance, then this would be the laptop to get of the two. So the last laptop that we're going to be talking about today is going to be the Acer Aspire 7. So this one's going to be the most affordable out of all three, but there are going to be some downgrades in terms of the specs in order to accommodate the price. One of the best benefits of this laptop is the fact that it weighs just a little under five pounds. So this is actually going to be the lightest laptop out of all three. So if portability is a big must for you, then this might be the one for you. But for the CPU, we're using a two gigahertz Intel Core i5. Our RAM is downgraded to an eight gigabytes instead of 12 and 16. Our storage is gonna be the same as the previous laptop, which is still a good amount of storage for a solid state drive. And then for our graphics card, we're gonna be using a four gigabytes NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. But if you're concerned about streaming games with this laptop, this uses the same graphics card as the previous laptop, which means that you're gonna be allowed to play and stream games like Fortnite, 
PUBG, Cyberpunk if you really wanted to play that monstrosity, and other similar games at around 720p and about 1080p. If you guys want to stream console games through your computer using a capture card like one of these bad boys, this is going to work for every single gaming laptop we mentioned in this video because all of them have USB 3.0 slots, which are like those little blue USBs. That's going to handle the HD60S and the S Plus, as well as a lot of the other capture cards. If you want to know how to connect any of your consoles and play and stream them through your gaming laptop and stream it to Twitch so that way you have more functionality, I'll leave a video in the top right corner where I talk all about how to use this bad boy right here and connect your console. For the video, I do end up using the Nintendo Switch, but it works for every single other console. And then also right after that, I'm going to link another video if you want to learn how to stream retro games. Yes, you can stream your Nintendo 64, you can stream your PlayStation 2, your PlayStation 1, any retro console using this bad boy as well as using a retro adapter uh, which I'll go over in the video so if you want to learn how to stream your console games and your retro games to your laptop which then goes to Twitch which is honestly the best way to professionally stream games then go ahead check out those videos in the top right corner and grab yourself one of these I will leave everything additionally here in the description down below to help you stream console games to Twitch for those that are wondering why I recommend using a capture card to stream your console games, it's because you have so much more functionality in terms of designing your stream. Because let's say if you would just want to stream from your PS5 or your Xbox Series X, directly to Twitch, you can, but you can't have like all the cool little alerts that pop up on stream. You can't have like the follower count, donations alerts, and all of that kind of stuff, and all the little overlays and things. But you're not gonna have nearly as much control as you would using a capture card, projecting it to Streamlabs OBS on your gaming laptop, and then streaming that to Twitch. By the way, if you guys don't know what Streamlabs OBS is, then you guys really need to watch my video. Link in the top right corner, I'll put a card there. Streamlabs OBS is probably the best piece of software you can use when streaming to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook Gaming, whatever service you want, because it conveniently packages both OBS and Streamlabs functionalities with the alerts and donations and everything. It's just like an all-in-one tool in the chat box is there. It's just I can't I can't vouch for Streamlabs OBS enough. It's just so freaking convenient to be the all-in-one tool for streaming live on Twitch, YouTube, and all that stuff. But I really wanted to keep this very basic and dumbed down for a lot of people that aren't very tech savvy. Let me know which of the three laptops you think you're going to get if you decide to get a gaming laptop to start streaming on Twitch down in the comments down below. Also, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, either you can feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll respond, or if you want like a real-time response, go ahead, follow me on Twitch, and you can feel free to ask me real-time when I'm live on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the top right corner to all the different streaming guides that I've made to help you build your stream. But if you're ready to go, I'll leave two videos on the end screen showing you how to set up donations for your Twitch channel, as well as a guide on how to set up Streamlabs OBS. My name is Cody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.